Now to a Kelly file follow up for you and new backlash against BuzzFeed for questioning the faith of popular HGTV stars Chip and Joanna Gaines. Now two Christian brothers who lost their own HGTV show two years ago because of their religious beliefs are coming to their defense. Trace Gallagher has more from our West Coast newsroom and then the Benham brothers doing us live. Trace? Megan Chip and Joanna Gaines still have not publicly commented on their beliefs regarding same-sex marriage, although Chip Gaines did go on Twitter saying, quote, be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, do everything in love. And HDTV, which airs the couple show Fixer Upper, is addressing the question raised in the BuzzFeed article as to whether the show would welcome a same-sex couple, saying, quote, we don't discriminate against members of the LGBT community in any of our shows. HGTV is proud to have a crystal clear, consistent record of including people from all walks of life in its series. Now the Benham brothers, who lost their own HGTV show two years ago after a right-wing website labeled them as anti-gay, are coming to the defense of Chip and Joe Gaines, posting a Facebook video calling them a wonderful family, saying, quote, they're not anti-anything, they're pro-God, they're pro-Bible, they're pro-people. They're pro-Jesus. What's happening right now is a witch hunt. The Benhams also encourage fans of the show to stick by the couple, pointing out that the stars of Duck Dynasty also came under fire for homophobic comments. But millions of Americans stood by them, and that show remains on the air today. We should note, BuzzFeed is getting some major pushback from the article with the New York Times, the Washington Post, and others calling it nothing more than a hit piece. Megan. Trace, just to clarify, I think it was the website Right Wing Watch that went after the Bunham Brothers, not a right wing website. Right Wing Watch. That's, yeah, yeah. you're correct. Okay, good to see you. Now speaking out in a Kelly File exclusive, David and Jason Benham. They're also authors of the book Living Among Lions. Great to see you guys. Thank you so much for being here. So let me start with you, David, and why you thought it was important to speak out. Well, here the Thought Mafia is targeting another Christian couple. Jason and I knew, I mean, this is the same thing that came after us. It's time to stand up for the Gaines family. And, and here's what's interesting, is that this agenda to silence men and women of faith, and really to silence anyone that disagrees with this sexual revolution, the agenda, the ceiling has become the floor. You, you look from Obergefell in 15 and now to where we are today, where Jason and I, we were actually fired for simply voicing our opinions about marriage and sexuality within the context of marriage. The gains are being pressured because they simply attend a church that has a pastor that speaks about our traditional beliefs. This is an absolute mm -hmm. witch hunt. We knew we had to come to their defense. Yeah, the, the, the Gaines have not said whether they agree with all these things that their pastor has said. The question BuzzFeed is raising is, do they? And just to set the stage for the audience, this is the pastor. His name is Pastor Siebert, and this is the church that the Gaineses attend. Let's just listen to the controversial comments that BuzzFeed is focusing on. Listen. This is a, is a, a clear biblical admonition. So if someone were to say marriage is defined in a different way, let me just say it this way. They are wrong. Obviously, truth number one, homosexuality is a sin. The lie, homosexuality is not a sin. The statistics say that over 90% of people that are in a full-blown homosexual lifestyle were abused in some way, physically, sexually, mentally. Jason, that's, that last one in particular uh, has caused a lot of controversy, is just not supported by the facts or the science. Your thoughts? Well, our thoughts are that God's blessings are found within God's boundaries. And when you remove God's boundaries, those blessings are replaced with burdens. And true love involves compassion with standards. If you remove one or the other, you don't have love. And so what this pastor has done is something that we encourage other pastors to do is to actually stand and say, what does the Bible say about marriage? It's not that difficult. And, you know, when we have pastors that are backing out of this hot topic issue right now, this is why the thought mafia can come in and try to get the gains off of their show. And, uh, and so we don't need this anymore. And this, this is why it, it's such a great time for Christians to actually stand up and say, look, we love all people. We're not anti anything. But God's blessings are found within God's boundaries, and we need to live within those boundaries. 
But what do you make of it, you know, David? Because the, the, the LGBT community and those who support them would say, hey, you know, we have the right to vote with our pocketbooks, same as the Christian community does. And so if we don't want to support a show or see a show on the air that we feel is anti-gay, then we have the right to say, we don't like that show. We're going to go after them. What do you make of that? You, you're right. And you'll remember when Jason and I were on your show and various other shows after we got fired, we said HGTV had the right to fire us. The gay community, which was not the whole gay community, this whole LGBT agenda does not represent the entire gay community. There are so many uh, gay individuals across this country that support the gays that supported us. This is not representative of the entire gay community. But Jason and I said, look, they've got the right to watch what they want to watch. But what we're talking about here is an agenda that has gone from acceptance to appreciation to celebration. And now they are going to force participation. And that's why we have to stand up to this. Guys, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. Great to see you. And again, this is not about necessarily anything the Gaines actually believe. It's about what their pastor said. That's what this whole thing has been based on.